Always wanted to use the stroke layer style inside of Photoshop, but never knew exactly where to start. Well, if that's the case, then you're in luck since in this video I'm going to walk you through the entire process and show you how easy it is to do so. I'm Andrew and you're watching an Envato Tus Plus tutorial. So what does the stroke layer style effect actually do? Well, as the name suggests, it allows us to add a stroke to our layer's content in order to enhance its appearance. We can apply the effect on anything from a photo to a basic shape or even a text segment, the process itself being really simple as we will get to see in the following moments. For example purposes, let's say that we have a basic shape to which we want to add a stroke to. We're going to start by heading over to the Layers panel and then selecting the layer containing our shape. Once the layer is selected, we're going to head over to the panel's bottom section and click on the FX button, which will open up a list of all the available layer styles that we can use. Here we'll want to click on Stroke, which will immediately bring up the layer style window. We can achieve the same result by heading over to Layer, Layer Style, Stroke. Once the layer style window is visible, we can easily access all these different settings, the first one being size, which allows us to adjust the width of our stroke using either the horizontal slider or the value input box. Moving on down, we have position, which controls the alignment of the stroke and comes with three different options that are pretty self-explanatory. We then have blend mode, which allows us to control how our stroke blends with our content. Depending on the position setting that we're using, our selected blend mode will affect either the current layer or any other layer from beneath it. Next, there's opacity, which lets us control how transparent our stroke will actually be, where a value of 0% will mask areas of the layer to which it's being applied to. Finally, we have fill type, which gives us the option of going with a color, a gradient, or even a pattern each choice giving us additional settings in order to fine tune them. If we want to, we can always save the current effect settings by using the make default button or we can fully reset them using the reset to default one. Once we're done adjusting all the different settings, we can hit OK and the layers panel will update itself by displaying a little FX icon next to the corresponding layer. If needed, we can easily adjust the effect at any time by simply double clicking on it and then fine tuning it accordingly. And that's pretty much all you have to do. As always, I hope you found this video useful and I'll see you in the next one.